Either I'll have to fight that troll. Come to Papa. Hold still, handsome! <laughs> Revenue. This must be Serona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad to have this back. Hello, Serona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Spottle with some hall clumps for her Wiganweld potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Spottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. She taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Spottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... Well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. 
I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. One of the letters mentioned Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. <laughs> oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aidan. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. <laughs>